Today a new patch for the Helldivers 2 just came out with some very exciting additions and some more controversial ones, which we'll be going over probably. But real quick, on screen is a explanation on why some of these changes are taking place. I'd recommend to pause and read to fully understand what they're going for. And now onto the patch notes. The biggest change of which is the new planetary hazards, which will add some spice to any mission. Fire tornadoes to meteor showers, which you are seeing right now. Very cool. Now on to balancing. Uh, eradicate missions will now require more kills and enemies will spawn more often, causing the mission to take about twice as long. You know, I think this is great. You know, they did feel a bit too easy, but now they stand to be a bit more challenging. Now with some of the more controversial changes involving many of the meta weapons, starting with the breaker. The breaker magazine size will be adjusted from 16 shots to 13. We'll have an increased recoil from 30 to 55. The flamethrower received a buff, now doing 50% more damage a second, which is going to be very nice. The laser cannon now has increased damage against durable enemy parts, increased armor penetration, and improved ergonomics. Fancy. The Punisher is finally getting more ammo capacity from 40 to now 60. In addition, increased stagger force and increasing the damage per bullet from 40 to 55. The Breaker Spray and Prey now has an increased armor penetration with also an increased fire rate from 300 to 330, also increasing the number of pellets from 12 to 16, meaning more damage. However, the magazine size has been reduced from 32 to 26, a six shot difference. The Energy Shield Backpack now has an increased delay before recharging. The 380 and the 130 millimeter orbital barrages both now have increased duration of effect and a decreased spread. And now with the biggest controversial change, which is to the railgun. The railgun now has a decreased armor penetration while in safe mode, as well as decreased damage against durable enemy parts. However, switching to the unsafe mode will still allow you to penetrate heavy armor, just now doing less damage, meaning you'll have to aim for the head and they'll be dead. It should be noted that the railgun can still take down chargers with ease, just as long as it's in unsafe mode. All right, moving on to some of the bug fixes on the screen is just going to be a list of them, but I'm just going to point out some of the more important ones. The fixed armor rating value is not reducing damage as intended. It's finally fixed. Armor is now working as intended. They went ahead and fixed certain bug holes, including stalker nests that were unnecessarily hard to destroy. Helldiver standing next to ICBMs during launch will get properly toasted with a chance of not so spontaneous combustion. Camera will no longer lock onto the player's own corpse and block in spectator mode. If you've played multiplayer or co-op, you know what I'm talking about. Now there are some known issues. Um, hopefully these will be getting patched out within the next few updates, which will hopefully be soon. There's probably been many behind the scene changes as well as hidden ones, not in the patch notes. One of which is the mission completion screen is now lightning fast compared to as before. So overall, well needed patch to address some issues and balance many of the weapons. Hopefully, we will soon get that awaited update involving the new stratagems and vehicles. And many more balancing changes to many of the underpowered weapons. Switching things up is the absolute meltdown which occurred on the Helldivers 2 Discord, which is honestly a bit sad looking at. A lot of people are just plain mad at the fact that they even dare to touch their oh-so-beloved no-skill railgun. It's not like there's other options or anything. Um, the most embarrassing is the fact that people just didn't bother to read the patch notes before taking the time to light a torch. Overall, I think the change to the railgun is, is well needed. Uh, before we had all the rewards with no risks, now we have the risk of immediate combustion well i hope you all enjoyed and gained a lot more understanding into the, some of these changes uh airhead has made a amazing game so i think they know the proper direction the game should take 